So, day three. <laughs> um, what's on the agenda? Um, I want to discuss uh, five things today. So mm -hmm. we had uh, the issues of the last training with the drawing units. Mm -hmm. Drawing and, unit, all right. Yeah, so that read that definition that, that went a bit wrong. And also mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. uh, non-orthogonal um, intersection. Mm -hmm. We had trouble with it. And I said, well, I will come back to, back to you with it by the next training, which is That's today. <laughs> um, but to be very honest, I have a very busy week. Uh, okay, it's okay. And, and I, uh, yeah, had not really the time to prepare it too well. So I, I did look into it, but not too well. And uh, I, yeah, if I, if I want to help you, I want to help you properly. Um, so yeah. therefore, I think it's better to do it at day five. And then I have a bit more time to look into it, and then I can help you good. Okay. Yeah, and, thank you. Yeah. yeah, and then the same goes for uh, uh, Bethel and Weld information, uh, Bethel information mm -hmm. and welding compensation. Um, so it's it's additional to your license, and it's mm -hmm. not per se needed to do it today. So I also postponed it to day five. Day five. Four. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, I don't mind. Okay, good, nice. Then um, today we're going to look at making of stiffeners and faceplates, uh, but you already did. <laughs> so that's very nice. Um, then we're going to look at uh, production information, but only if, you, if it's desired. Uh, I think it is, but you know, since, okay, so we have uh, two suites. So it's, we have the modeling license, which you have, and we have the production license. Uh, which you don't have. Um, Production and, license. Yes. I uh, only have a modeling lesson, right? Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So in the modeling license, it, it is uh, possible to add production information, uh, mm -hmm. but you cannot do anything with it later on uh, mm -hmm. since, since you have the modeling license. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, this production information is something like uh, uh bom right bill of material uh, Lang, uh, that, is that, it some? yeah you can get that from the reports uh-huh uh -huh. and the reports okay. we will discuss that at uh, monday so at day four okay okay uh, but that's that's not per se in the production so the difference between modeling and production is that in oh. the production license uh, okay. you can also make uh plate expansions mm -hmm. Oh, and, uh, right. that you can make uh, NC drawings, mm -hmm. uh, so nesting files and uh, mm -hmm. NC cutting. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So that is the production information. Uh, no, 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 no. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Production information is more like uh, uh, marking lines, production units, uh, uh, logistic uh, information. Uh, all right. Okay. Okay. And. Um, what else is in the production license? Yeah, in the production license, you get also uh, more information in your reports than in the modeling license. Mm -hmm, okay. mm -hmm. But I think it's good to cover it today, and it, it's still useful to you. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty yeah, sure it's yeah, still yeah. useful. And Especially then, when when yeah. we do have us. Uh, yeah. 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 Exactly. Um, and then finally, we are going to uh, make construction drawings today. Cool. And um, yeah, so that, that's it. So uh, first of all, what? Yeah, if, so production information. Um, what is it? Well, it looks something like this. So it's the same image, but then with production information on it. Um, so what you see here, what I added, is uh, marking lines. So, yeah, maybe mm -hmm. it's C, but I marked the position of the stiffeners. Mm -hmm. And I also applied a grid of, of water lines here. Mm -hmm. And yeah, there's mu much more that you can do. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so, it's, it's uh, yeah, marking lines and text. It's a marking of a grid, but it's also uh, adding uh, logistic information. So, you can uh, assign each part, you can assign it a production unit, 
So you can say, okay, this uh, plate here uh, belongs to the, the, the bulkhead or the forepeak, and those mm -hmm. stiffers uh, belong also, yeah, maybe also to the forepeak, I don't know. And then you can give it also uh, treatments. So you can maybe say um, uh, this uh, part uh, needs to be yeah, yeah, baffled, for example. The module that you have, you can say this part needs to be baffled. Uh, or you say this stiffener needs to be needs to be bent or maybe painted. So that's also a bit of logistic information that you can give to it. It's not too hard uh, to apply. It's quite easy to do, in fact. And um, uh, yeah, it's, it can be quite useful. Um, all right, but yeah, it's it's very much with the yeah, it's it's. It's only useful if you are actually going to produce this, <laughs> of course. So <laughs> if you are just making the 3D model and uh, send that model to a client or something, then it's maybe not too relevant. But if you are actually going to produce it, then this information is, of course, very relevant. Okay. And then finally, we are going to look at construction drawings. Uh, I have one example here. This is... Uh, frame of a recent project that we did. Um, this is from, uh, I think it was from a yacht. And then, yeah, a typical construction drawing looks something like this. So you see here all the, 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 the part IDs. And then you see here some dimensions, easy. Um, and then you see the, the, the standard template that we have. So this center line and this baseline. <laughs> It's really, it's not nothing special. It's uh, in fact, a very big part is just based on AutoCAD uh, and Mastchip just makes it a bit easier to make these drawings. So in fact, I think that you can tell me more about making construction drawings than I can tell you. <laughs> so I will show you how to do it with Mastership. So the, the shortcuts to make it easy. But probably making the construction drawing itself, it's yeah, I, I don't think I have to explain you anything on that. <laughs> Since you, you already make all your construction drawings in AutoCAD, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I know you here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. So uh so this is this is just one example. Uh we are going for a simplified one. So ours will look something like this. So we are just will just proceed with the one that we have. So you can't see the colors here really, so you can also make it uh, black and white, you will see it better. Uh, so what we have is we have a tool to import this frame in an easy way. And we have those standard templates. That's that that's in fact uh, what we offer. Uh, let's see what is else here. Yeah, what is it? It's a reference on paper layout. So it's in fact, yeah, you will see, yeah, you will see how it works. So it's we have those assembly drawings, right? Mm -hmm. And then if you click an assembly drawing, you can do open reference. Mm -hmm. And th this is in fact exactly the same. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Frame by frame, and then we have a long G. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I'll show you how this works. So I think we will go relatively quick through this, uh, but uh, we will see how it goes. All right, so that was it uh, for the agenda of today. So uh, you know what they say, let's get started. <laughs> okay, so we have the, the panel again. Um, okay, so let's start with uh, marking lines. Just, just a line, nothing more. Um, so what we can mark in this case, we see here uh, the tween deck. Uh -huh. And maybe it's nice to... Uh, yeah, locate the position of this tween deck on our bulkhead. So what we then can do is uh, we can draw a line, or or we can just use this line. That's also fine. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to draw a new one. Okay, let's let's assume this is in the right position, and then I can do add marking. And I select my plate. And I select my marking. Mm -hmm. 
And what you see now is that we have a green line on it. Okay. See, and it's also now um, part of the part. <laughs> oh. So it's green. And mm -hmm. that means that it's uh, going to be printed on the part if you send it to a uh, cutting machine. So you see also here part marking. You can turn it on or off. And then if you, yeah, so, but this line in itself does not say much, really. It's so just a marking. Can, yeah, it's just a marking. So you can do, say, mark text. And then I can add text to it. And then I can do it at the start and end or at mm -hmm. the middle. I mm -hmm. go for the middle now. And I select my curve. And then I say this is a uh, tween deck uh, at that frame. Uh, yeah, that's bullshit. Just tween deck. Mm -hmm. 2500 maybe. And then I can say this side or this side. I go for this side. And now you see that the text is also on here. Mm -hmm. And this is also in this layer part text. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and that means that this text is also printed on the plate. If you send it to a cutting machine, this will also be printed. So, okay, we now have this line. That's that's nice, but we don't know on which side the the tween deck should be. Should the the plate of the tween deck be on this side mm -hmm. or on this side? That's mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. clear on this. So you can do either two things. You can maybe um, make another line. Uh, let's let's hide this one, by the way. Okay. You can make another line. Uh, like so. And then you can make this also a marking line. And then you, okay, my 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 plating of my tween deck needs to be in between those lines. Mm -hmm. You can do that. But you can also do uh, here, so maybe a bit of strange position mm -hmm. here. Yes. You can also do middle marking. That is for thickness direction. Exactly. So okay. and you can also select this one, and then what you will get is something like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You give the also the 25, that's fine. You do OK. And then I select this entity. I select, say I want to have it on that side. But then I know, OK, my tank top plating or my, my tween deck plating needs to be on this side. Mm -hmm. So that's that's how you can mark it, or you either do two double lines. Oh, uh, all right. So that's one way to do it. Um, and yeah, you can really draw anything. So you can also make uh, I don't know, but maybe a circle here. Mm -hmm. Like that. Wait, what's in your... Okay. Oh, part. So now you have a uh -huh. circle as a marking. I, I don't know why, but you can make any shape that you mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That so is useful. Mm -hmm. Sorry? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that that is useful. Uh, sometimes we have a pipe or something go through the head. Yeah, or exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, what you also can do is, of course, you can add, uh, use this function at generic hole to make the old and they have already yeah. cut it, yeah. but uh, maybe, yeah. Or uh, maybe you want a, a offset line maybe, so then you can draw a offset line here and then use that as a marking. I don't know, mm. maybe, maybe that's that's helpful. Uh, maybe you want to mark the center of the plate. Can also be mm. nice. So you can do, yeah, anything, anything you like, really. Um, so, and then another functionality is mark stiffer. So then it asks me to select the bulkhead, okay. And then that's that. And then select the stiffeners. Now I choose those. Mm -hmm. 
or all of them, doesn't matter. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then I do enter. And now my stiffeners are being marked. So if I look at it, I'll turn off the solids. So now you see here the marking lines of the uh -huh. stiffeners. And you also see the ID here. Uh -huh. PHF 75i. That ID is for the. That's the same. So this is that stiffener. Right, right, right. Yeah, that stiffener. stiffener and then this, yeah, exactly. This is the stiffener ID. So that's how to mark stiffeners. It's yeah, quite easy and I think straightforward. Not, nothing really special here. Um, and then finally, we have uh, mark grid. Mm -hmm. And with Mark Grid, yeah, you can really, uh, yeah, the name says it, you can really specify a grid on your uh, plate. So I will show just this side, or, else, or yeah, maybe it can be a bit confusing if I do it on two sides. So I do enter. Uh, Uh, what I then can do is I can do mark grid. Mm -hmm. And I select my plate. And mm -hmm. then I can say, okay, enter step size for the water lines. So mm -hmm. you can have it from, uh, from zero and then mm -hmm. each uh, step size you make another water line. Mm -hmm. Or you can do use interval. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, our starts at, I don't know what this is, at, probably about a thousand or something. So we can say, okay, we want to start from uh, 2000 until, uh, uh, say, 6000 with steps of 500. Um, yeah. And then I select enter and then. Uh, vertical lines, we can also use an interval or a step size. I go for an interval uh, and I do um, from minus 1000 mm -hmm. until uh, minus uh, 6000. And then, oh, invalid value. Why is this invalid? Boutique. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! I made a mistake. I made now the the intervals of the verticals. I made them the same as the water lines. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay. Anyway, let's proceed. And then finally, we can also do the text height. So if I now press enter, and this might take a while, and it will draw that grid. So you see here is now the water lines. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, but the mistake I made was that I did a mark grid and I gave positive values to it. While, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, positive is on this side. So I mm -hmm. should have done negative values. So mm -hmm. I made a mistake. So let's do it again. Mm, yeah, good. Let me do the mark grid. Uh, yeah, so interval. This this is good. And for first goals, we do also an interval. And I want to have it minus thousand. Uh, I think I know. It's minus six thousand until mm -hmm. minus thousand. Step size of that. So, and then the text height, uh, 20, that's good. <coughs> so now we have this grid on it. Oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat>
that can be helpful. Mm. So, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Normally, what was the, the function of this grid? Yeah. Um, can be um, that you, okay, so now this is, was just a grid, mm -hmm. but maybe um, in your model of the, uh, how is it called, your, your tuck model, mm -hmm. you can uh, maybe use uh, the, the position of the decks here, I don't know. Uh, Something. Uh, so sometimes this is useful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. But you, can do as well is, for example, in a uh, tank top. I go to my... Oh, right, 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 right. Like this, this is good. Uh, let's go to the tank top. Or not the tank top, let's do the tween deck that's a bit smaller. The tank mm -hmm. top is pretty large. Then if I make a bounded panel here, mm -hmm. so this is going to be a very large part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's that's not realistic, but doesn't matter for now. It's frame seven, that's good. Then we can also do mark grid. Mm -hmm. And then it asks you enter the mark or frame positions uh, or set the prefix. Um, yeah, you do OK. And now it will automatically uh, define all the frame positions on it. Mm -hmm. And we can also uh, define verticals here, but that's maybe less relevant. So, uh, yeah, I do, uh, I don't know, yeah, 10,000, that's good. And then it's not in my drawing. And I do enter, and this can take a while. So that let's do identify all the frame positions. Prefix. So this is, in fact, more useful than the grid I just shown you on the bulkhead. Since yeah, when do you want to use a, a, a grid? Yeah, not very often. But like this is yeah quite helpful. So then you know where your frame positions are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, but it takes a while to, to generate this. It's a very large plate. <laughs> so maybe it was easier if I took a bit smaller uh, plate. But it's, uh, it's calculating it at the moment. But uh, instead of uh, using this mark grid, right? Yep. Let's, say, let's say we have a tank top, okay? Uh, and then we have uh, a stiffener uh, uh, below the tank top. Yeah. Uh, every frame, then should then we should be no problem to to use this uh, mark stiffener. Am I correct? Um, if it's so, where's the stiffener? Is the stiffener? The stiffener is be, uh, no, uh, below tank top. Uh, yeah, but on but is it on the tank top plating? So on on the. Uh, is it attached to the tank top or is yeah, it attached, attached to the tank top? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. I will show you. Well, I will show you. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, this has to load first. Yeah. This takes a while, but then yeah, we can draw stiffeners here. So I will draw three stiffeners or something. Mm -hmm. And then I will do two stiffeners on this side and one stiffener on that side. And then I will show you uh, the difference. So you can really say I want to have my marking on this side of the plate or I want to have my marking on the other side of the plate. That's wow. um, yeah, sometimes convenient. But you have to, uh, you really have to choose whether you do, uh, yeah, you can only mark one side, you know, since you have this cutting machine mm -hmm. and your plate is on, on the cutting machine and then yeah. Yeah, this marking head comes and it cannot mark from the other side, it can only mark one side. Mm 
Uh, this takes uh, quite long. Let me make that. Do we already have a grid? Yes, there it is. Mm -hmm. So this function is in fact nice. So here you have all your frame position. And yeah, if you have this on your deck, then that mm -hmm. is yeah, pretty nice to have. I mean, yeah, very relevant. Um, OK, so if you want to have stiffeners on it, you asked, then I'm going to make uh, two lines. Or uh, I do it like this, assisting this line. Offset it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and also uh, okay. So now let's make it stiffer here. Mm -hmm. And do it uh, unbounded. Unbounded curve. Mm -hmm. uh, now let's make it like this. Zero, zero. Okay. Good enough. But that's one. Mm -hmm. And we make another one here. Found it. Yeah. Attach it to this part. Uh, it's different orientation, and I'm going to mirror this one. I see the it's, it's too long, but um, okay. Uh -huh. So hey, this is strange. <laughs> Not mirrored. Okay, let's try to mirror it again. Maybe it already was so, mirror. Oh, uh, it's flipping um, that direction. Edit. I want to have it on the other side, in fact, so I should rotate. Oh, yeah. Instead of mirror. Rotate 90. Yes. 80. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So now it's on the other side. Uh, was, this, was this your question? If we can still apply the marking now? Yeah. Yeah. So we can now do mark stiffener. Mm -hmm. And then we use uh, display. Mm -hmm. This one. Mm -hmm. and so that one. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, stiffener. Stiffener. Okay. So I will turn off my stiffeners. <clears throat> so I'm also going to turn off this. So we see now the stiffener is marked here. Yeah, that's good. Yep. This one is also marked. Yeah. Maybe let's hide those reference lines and you can see it better. I pull. Okay, so one stiffener, and then you see here the end of the stiffener. Uh -huh. Here's the other end. Uh -huh. uh, and this stiffener is also marked like this. Here's uh -huh. no end since the stiffener uh -huh. was. Yeah. Okay. Um, but but we have a problem. <laughs> since this marking will be on the top of this plate, so as we see it now. Uh -huh. But but this stiffener here. Uh -huh was on the other side. Mm -hmm. 
it's yeah then then hard to see uh, at which side do <laughs> where, where does it need to be so that's that's a bit inconvenient so what you can do but you have to decide that for um, yeah for the whole plate so that makes mm -hmm. it harder uh, then you can do edit part data and then you can say do the marking on the other side mm -hmm. but that goes for all the lines so you have to okay. make a decision okay uh, and if you do that now you see all the lines are purple mm -hmm. and that means that it will then your yeah your marking lines will then then be on the other side and at the other side i mean yeah. below the below the, the the plate right it will be here on the other side uh -huh, uh -huh. okay okay but yes uh -huh. so if this is your case so one under and one up yeah uh -huh. there's not really a good yeah there's there's not one solution for it since you have to choose whether you do it mm -hmm. yeah yeah definitely yeah you cannot do uh, two marking at the one part no it's only one side it's only one. Yeah. so in this case i would go for this one and then yeah this is then yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay but but what you can do is maybe uh so like this you turn this off and then you can maybe mark a text or uh add the marking to this uh thing uh, the first we make have to make some text or or make a line i don't know so then we can say, okay, let's make a text. And then we say something like this. Uh, yeah, no, zero. Okay. Text. And then you say maybe uh, other uh, or if. Side. Maybe you can do something like this. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, and maybe mark this. So, uh, so and now this is also printed on the on the plate. So it's in this layer. So that's maybe a solution. That you know well. Okay, the marking line is here, but in fact, the stiffener should be on the other side. Mm -hmm. uh, that's 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 how you can solve it. But that's that's really up to the engineer on how to do it. But so yeah, this is how you use uh, marking lines. Yeah. And is there anything else? No, not really. I think this this is it really. So you have mark grid, mark text, mark stiffener, and add marking. Uh -huh. And this was uh, the add marking and mark text. It was here. This was the mark grid, and this circle was also the add marking. And the um, grid was was this. So we can can can. Uh select text as a marking right yeah 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 okay so i can show you again uh, so then you have to uh so you first make a text it doesn't matter where it comes from but mm -hmm. something like this and then uh, you say uh book at uh maybe yeah book at okay Good. And then you can do add marking. Add marking. Yeah. So with this add marking, you can either do text or lines oh, or both. And then you select this bulkhead. And then you select the text. And now you see it's light blue or purple. Uh, so it's in this layer, part text. And then, it, and then it will also be printed on the plate. 
So you can also print, uh, you can really print anything you like. If you think, well, this is nice to have for production, for the production information, then you can put it on here. And you can do the same with uh, text, but I'm not sure if that's in your license or not. Mm -hmm. So um, if, if we are going to produce this now or send this to a cutting machine, mm -hmm. then we only have the marking lines, mm -hmm. but we do not have this unique number on it. Mm -hmm. uh, so then we can do copy text and then select the plate. And then uh, advance, uh, yes. Mistake. So first do part text. This is a small bug, in fact. Uh, do the copy text. We can select this. And now you see that this is also text. So now this will also be printed on the plate. Mm -hmm. So that can be useful information for uh, yeah, for production. Any questions on marking lines? Yeah, I think. Yeah, so far so good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. So it's it's not yeah, it's no rocket science those uh, marking lines, but it's uh, yeah, it can be very convenient to have for uh, yes. for uh, production. For the production team. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But so you can also do maybe uh, maybe say you want to have a flange somewhere or a bending line. That can mm -hmm. be really helpful. So, um, oh yeah, the, the flange, right? Yeah, for example. Yes. And you can say, okay, it needs to be bent here. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Um, then what's next? Oh yes, uh, production units is also quite nice. So what you can do is say, uh, let's go to this frame. Uh, parts. And if we now do part data, then we come back to this. Mm -hmm. And here you can also select a production unit. Mm -hmm. And then you can do select. Uh, we do not have any production units at the moment, um, but we can do new. And then you call this uh, or peak A1, maybe something like this. He says it's the fourth peak, it's a ship. It's in a section. And then we can specify multiple, so uh, A2, also a section. Fourth peak. So here you can make all the draw, all the production units. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, a bit similar to drawing units, but it's different. <laughs> so oh. a, a drawing unit is really for the drawing engineers, so really for the office to divide your tasks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And production units are production units that are, uh, yeah, really for production purposes. So yeah. Um, so then we can say, okay, we want to have this production unit. We do select. And now we know that this plate is now mm -hmm. part of this production unit. Mm -hmm. So, and then I can do OK. And it's fine. And then if you look, then you see here the part ID, here the thickness, and here you see mm -hmm. then the production mm -hmm. unit. And then again, if we go to NC and do copy text, we can select this plate. We can do both. Yes, yes, yes. And now you see that also the production unit mm -hmm. here is will be mm -hmm. printed on the plate. And and also the ID, but also the production unit. So that's quite nice. And you can also define production units here. It's a shortcut, and then you can define multiple. Uh, Units. So, and this one that was for the four peak. 
but you can also say uh, here, for example. Then you can maybe call this um, uh, data. Then we call this maybe new. We can call this uh, floors midship. Or floors uh, section uh, B4. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, what's this level? So, okay, so and then you can put all them to that same production unit. And if you make now a new part, so like this. Uh, Uh, we have gaps. I don't want gaps. Uh, I make another part. Uh, then it will automatically detect. Well, this is probably in the production unit that you want. So if we make a floor here, hey, why do I have gaps? What is this? Oh, I don't have gaps. Okay, let's let's make this one uh, by the panel. Then it's here automatically uh, assigned to that production unit. Okay. Oh. And then finally, you have here operations. Mm. Uh, by default, it's empty, so there's nothing. Yeah. And you can add something yourself, but I think I already showed you this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can now do yeah, operations. We already have it, but you can do the same here at modifications. So yeah, paint level or maybe uh, mm -hmm. drilling, I don't know, or uh, drilling. If you do that, then that information is, uh, is saved as well. And then the next time you can select it from here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. So that is, yeah, that that's it. Really, I would say for production information. Mm -hmm. Production unit. <clears throat> yeah. Um, let's see. Do we have anything else that I can say about production information? No, not really. Yeah, I think this is it. So, so this is quite nice. So the markings, and that you can specify any text that you like. Mm -hmm. That's nice. And uh, the marking of stiffeners is also pretty nice to have. And yeah. I think that's that's it for production information. Do you have any questions on it? Yeah, no. <laughs> no, it's easier. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah it's straightforward. It's straightforward. Not, yeah. 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 Okay. Good. Um, then we go to the final. Yeah. This and is the, more important. Yeah. The workshop, workshop drawings. Workshop drawing. Yeah. Um, so you can follow along if you like. It's uh, it's easy. Uh, mm -hmm. so we, we make a new drawing. Mm -hmm. yeah. do, you, do you also get this template or not? Uh, let's see. No. Uh, okay, good. Since if you have it, then you can just delete it since we don't need it. <laughs> uh, now we have to save the drawing first in our project folder. Or else it will not be uh, active. So I don't know, are you in the same project as I am? 
uh, let's see first. Uh, training and expansion. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we say we need. Da, 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 da. Save is. Yeah. So I think it's good to make a new folder for this. Mm -hmm. and we call that workshop drawing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, training expansion. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hey. Uh, yep. Yeah, you have it. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, so in this folder, workshop drawing. Then I you I I'm going to call this workshop drawing that we are going to make. I call it workshop drawing midship. Okay. Okay. So now it's saved and it's mm -hmm. uh, and it's active, and then we can make a second one and delete this. And we will call that uh, workshop drawing. Four peak. And yeah, that's good enough. So we will start with the midship. And what we do is we go to the master chip ribbon. Mm -hmm. And then we can choose here ship create construction drawing. Ship. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's it's here. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm so you can click it. Uh, wait, 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 wait. All right. Yeah. Mhm. Mm so and then you can here uh, select your folder where you want the software to look in. Um, so we go, yeah, this is the right folder. So uh, mm -hmm. this, this is our project. And mm -hmm. I go to model, mm -hmm. and I go to frames. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then this is the folder where we are going to look. So I say select folder. Okay. Maybe I haven't created my frame yet. Uh, let's see. Uh, maybe I need to go to the, <laughs> uh, my my own model. All right. Yeah, yeah. You can also pick your own model. That's that's a good one. Wait, wait a second. Okay. Okay. Let's see, but but uh, the, I mean the project has to open first, right? The I mean the organizer. Uh, no, you don't have to do that. Honey, oh, all right. Uh, no. Let's see. Okay. Uh, yep, I do have. Mm -hmm. Then open the model frame. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't have it's in the model, right? Uh yes, 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 yes. Model and then frames. Okay, yeah, yeah. Frames. Yeah, I do have. <laughs> so Okay, good, good, good. And then now you see here a list of frames. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. 
And um, but maybe <laughs> in your uh, so this drawing, you should also save it to your project. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the, oh, really? oh, you already did that. OK, good, good, good. OK, nice. Uh, uh, you can also do it in this project, but then that's that's a bit strange. Um, mm. But then you select the frames that you want. And I go for 30 and 34. Uh, but you can select as many as you like. Mm -hmm. uh, then you have here the option to do 2D construction mm -hmm. drawings, but also 3D. Mm -hmm. But I don't think 3D works. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we do 2D. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, and then you can press OK. And then this is what you get. Ah. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Frame 11. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. and 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 that's that's it really. So I will do here the same for the fourth peak. You don't have to follow along in this. I'm just going to show you uh, frames. But you can also do horizontals, longitudinals, and this uh -huh. of course. But okay. So frames, and then I pick the frames that I just made. So that was uh, what was it? Seventy five. Six. So now I have those in my drawing as well. Mm -hmm. So if I now uh, click this, then mm -hmm. you see this again. Oh. Open reference. So it's just it's just a reference drawing. That that's mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. um, so so then you can also open it from here. So mm -hmm. you can go here and do open. Mm -hmm. And then you are in your drawing, and that's just exactly the same as, mm -hmm. as this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Mm -hmm. um, but then, then in a different way. So this is this is how it looks. And then simply, yeah, you go to A3 here in the lower corner, and then you uh -huh. select the what you want to see. Mm -hmm. So you can do only this frame, or you do uh, zoom extend, and then you have all your frames. Um, okay. All right. Yeah. So 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 that that that's it really. Um, and then you can yeah make the annotations and all yourself. So mm -hmm. you can maybe do uh, uh, something like this. Mm, dimension line. Yeah. Oh. So you can specify that here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you go to your A3 and then, yeah. OK. So that's A3, but you can also do your dimensions here. But uh, it's really big here now. <laughs> so yeah. maybe, maybe there's, but you can also do it here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe here on your whole, I don't know. So, and what you then see, you see your um, part IDs here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty nice to have. Uh, but sometimes it's a bit mm. inconvenient that they yeah, are here. It's uh, crowded sometimes. Yes, yeah. it can be crowded. It can be crowded. Mm. So um, what you can then do is you can go back to the to the model. Mm -hmm. and I open my reference. Oh, mm -hmm. I open this reference. And then you can do two things. Hide. We can hide the. Yeah, you cannot really hide the part data. But what you can do is you can do you can go to parts, and then you can do position part data. Is and it then, Wait, again again? <laughs> Sorry. Here in parts. Uh, mm -hmm. Part data. Yes. Position part data. Okay. Yes, exactly. And if you click that, then you can select well this this part for example, mm -hmm. and then you can give a new position to mm -hmm. we can rotate it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I cannot hear you. Yeah, guys. Yeah. 
Oh, strange. Okay, this is better. <laughs> that is good now, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, nice, nice, nice. nice. So that's, that's what you can do. You can uh, position the part data and give it a new position. Mm -hmm. um, but what you also can do is something like this, like create leader. Mm -hmm. And then you can select your part or maybe do this part. And then you can make a leader. So then you can do something like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's, the, that's just the same information, but yeah. So then it's maybe more clear in your drawing, or for example. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, if you now go, so we save this. You go to the workshop drawing. And then here you go, something is modified. Yeah. So now it's loaded. Uh, mm. And then you go back to your workshop drawing and then you see yeah, how it changed. Mm. Yeah. Um, so, yes, I don't know. Any questions on this? Um, okay, let's say, uh, let's say I have my own template, our company uh, template, right? So then if we just uh, put inside uh, this uh, model. You mean this, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's possible. That's uh, a yeah. um, <laughs> good question, I understand. Uh, I will share that in the in the last uh, training to you. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. So that's here. If you go to your project, mm -hmm. you have your templates. Mm -hmm. Ah, all right. And, and one of the templates is uh, here. I think this is the one workshop drawing. Yeah, probably. Let's see. Uh, I don't know, but um, yeah, this this is so that's where your um, where you can configure the okay. The, the 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 drawing head here like this that okay. you can make your own yeah so that's that uh, yeah um so then you have your own drawing head the ah, same goes for this uh, that's it really for workshop drawings and i think that you know yeah yourself how to give proper dimensions and all yes yes so um yeah, since you, you use this, uh, you make your model in Rhino and then you do the annotations and workshop drawings in AutoCAD, right? Uh, uh, not really, just a 3D we draw in the, in the Rhino, uh, yeah. all the workshop drawing done in the, this AutoCAD. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's, uh, that's it then, I think, mm -hmm. yeah. So you can also use this instead of your assembly. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm thinking if I can show you something else. Yeah, uh, this is it. This is it. Uh, there's nothing more to it. Okay, let's start with defining the battle. Um, so if you click that, then it says select part edge to baffle. Oh, in this case, we want to bevel this part. Mm -hmm. And then you say, yeah, the, the bevel angle, now say it's uh, it's 60. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and the end, it's, it's also 60. So you can also say, well, the start of my bevel is, is 10 maybe, and the end of my bevel is, uh, is 70 degrees. But to me, that makes no sense, I will say, mm -hmm. It's just 60, yes. but anyway, uh, we specify the, the, the angle at 60 and the, the end also at 60. So now it's defined for this side. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, that, 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 that was it. <laughs> so now you can do show battle information. And then, then you have this. Uh, the... Then it says 60, 60. And that's uh, and that's your information. Can, um, can, 
this information shown in the like a picture or something. Uh, uh, let's say we cut the section, right? Mm -hmm. So I mean, easy for uh, shipyard to see how the pebble look like uh, or something. Uh, to make it more clear, uh, what you can do is you can yeah, you can move it, of course. So you can maybe turn it here. Maybe you can make it a bit bigger, so you can maybe scale it or something. I don't know. Uh, something like that. Um, what you also can do is you can, but yeah, I don't know if that's relevant to you, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. you can also, uh, so if you send this part to a cutting machine, mm -hmm. you can also have this printed on your part. Mm -hmm. so that's, that's, that may be relevant for your, uh, for your workshop. And then you can also add a, a dialogue here like uh, so with, um, with text yeah you can maybe say uh, uh, to to baffle I don't know something like that or or if you are here in your uh, in your workshop drawing mm -hmm. then maybe you can make uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe you can make 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 an arrow here and some annotation. Uh -huh. Yeah. But yeah. So th this this is bevel information. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. It's, yeah. It's it's not not the it most can, useful. I will it, say. It can be done manually actually. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, it can be done manually. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Exactly. So okay. it's it's not really rocket science. The only advantage is that that you can um, say I want to hide it, mm -hmm. uh, but it's not per se an advantage, since if you do it mm -hmm. and you now show it again, then it's not at the same place. No, it's, mm -hmm. why, where is it? Where is it? <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, show. Uh, I'm going to hide it again. Show, show me. Hello. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so let's find it again, but this this should not be the case. Yeah, so show, hide. Mm. Ah, so you can show and hide it, but yeah, that's that's nothing special. I mean, you can also say, well, I'm going to delete this baffle. So the, the information is not in here anymore. So now the, the baffle is gone. Uh, you can also just just type it in. So you can also say uh, <laughs> just just yeah. AutoCAD that. Yeah, yeah. You can also do uh, 60 uh, bevel 60 degree. You can also do that. But the only advantage is if you use this, uh -huh. then uh, I believe it's saved in the database. Database, yeah. So okay. I believe that's, that's an advantage. Um, but what you also can do is that you say, hey, I when I make this part, you know, this, this dialogue, mm -hmm. uh, then you can also say here, uh, bevel uh, at, at 60 degree. And then you have exactly the same. OK. So that's that's a bit uh, up to how you use it. But so that's battle information. Yeah, it's, it's it's a simple command and not not too special. Yeah, I would say maybe that 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 so when you create a part. And you get this this dialogue mm -hmm. then this is maybe easier. Yeah, 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 I think maybe. This this one look, I mean, for me look better. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you have to decide for yourself uh, what you mm -hmm. want. But, okay, uh, okay. Here, uh, some th that beveling should be something like uh, welding yes. preparation, right? 
Yes. So yes. this is what, what I'm talking about. Let's say if we if we already apply the Beverly info, then is there any function that uh, we can just uh, get this information and I mean do the uh, like a detail something like this or yeah or we can do it manually? No, unfortunately uh, not. Uh, <laughs> Okay, Sorry, no. and I fully agree with you. Eh? I fully agree that this should be, this should be, so that would be much better. Mm -hmm. uh, it is yeah. But at the moment, it's 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 not, unfortunately. All right, we, because uh, when we, when we just state about the what uh, the, the this uh, angle, right? Uh, some um, maybe some shipyard they don't know. Okay, w which side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. What, what, right. what is the reference? What's the reference? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, no, sorry. Yeah, that's 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 the answer. <laughs> no, okay. I don't I don't like to give to you that answer. But... Yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Maybe you can improve uh, in the future. Yeah. Exactly. 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 You know, I, I of course. I think it's a good idea and I fully agree with you. Um, so the solid should uh, be beveled. I think I think you've seen this one before, right? Yes, yeah, so this is the, the project you work on, right? Uh, yeah, already start and then already give some uh, drawing to shipyard. Okay. Okay, uh, like I said before, okay, let's say you already model uh, the, oh, not this one. Uh, where is it? Where is our 3D? Okay. Mm, okay, let's say you already finish all the, all the uh, uh, structure inside, and then yeah. s somehow you're yeah, yeah, asking, Hey, can you do me something like a, a block breakdown so easy for 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 them to do the construction? So mm -hmm. then they give us this this kind of uh, uh, I mean uh, information. So uh, yeah. in, in in our net in our mo in our this mastership, um, how do we separate it? Uh, I mean accor according to the the block is there any or, or we can just delete the part that we don't need is that is that the thing <laughs> um you mean in your workshop drawing or actually the actual uh construction yeah in the uh, in the construction in the uh let's say in the um, because in the workshop, I know that we, we can do it manually, but uh, again, we can update in the uh, we we update in our model, right? In our three D, uh, and then yeah. let's uh, let's say okay, uh, I want to do this uh, to to B. Yeah. So only this part will uh, let's say if I want to generate uh, to the next thing, so only mm -hmm. this part will generate to the, I mean, will be nested on the plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is that any... Yes, there is. So what you can do is uh, make use of production units. Uh -huh. so, uh, the production unit. Yes. But, uh, but sometimes, uh, how to say this one? Sometimes if, if we work, uh, with other person, uh, sometimes let's say I I build a, a to B, and then the mm -hmm. other guy uh, doing the two A. Sometimes the, the the intersection or I mean the connection might be yeah. not the same. So it. Uh, but I can. Uh, but uh, I'm sure that the the thing is linked, right? Linked together, so that uh, we can see uh, what other people are doing. Is that? Yes. Is that in yes, my car. Yes. yes. So there you have uh, two things. You have uh, something like uh, drawing units mm -hmm. and you have production units. Okay. So if we look at pick uh, uh, a number frame, oh, let's pick. Wow. <laughs> let's pick this okay. frame. Maybe okay. for. 
let, let's say for this model, we, we try to break down uh, in into uh, what into two 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 block. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So uh, what you can do is, whoa, <laughs> you can use production units. Mm -hmm. So you can say, uh, let me hide the solids. Um, so when you have drawn this, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, and maybe, so, okay, let's draw a line here. Okay. Just from here to yeah. here. Uh -huh. And, uh, okay, not good. And then we say, hey, come on. So this is then 2B. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, something like that. And here is 2A. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. <laughs> okay. So 2B, 2B and 2A. Uh, so yeah, what you can do is if you go to parts, then you can say uh, edit part data. Mm -hmm. And then you can go for, to the deck beam, for example. Mm -hmm. And then you can say here the production unit. Uh -huh. And then you can uh, you select. Okay. Uh, let's make a new one. Uh, okay, 2B or 2A, okay. And it is uh, four peak uh, ship. It's good. Uh, to A. Uh. In level, okay. Subsection. It's, uh, yeah, subsection or section. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I selected. So now that is to A. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, here you can. Oh no, it, it used to be two B, right? Right, two B. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, okay, can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and then this one, uh, you can do the same. Mm -hmm. And you can also do the same for your stiffeners. Uh, and then, yeah, this one is so. Okay. This one is, uh -huh. is just above or uh -huh. below the line. Uh -huh. So here you can decide whether you make this two B mm -hmm. or two A. Mm -hmm. Or you can, or you can split it. Huh? So split you can it. Also, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This one we learned it before. Yeah, split. Yeah. So that's 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 up to you how to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's 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 one way. So I will do it with production units if I were you. Mm -hmm. And um, another way to do it is with uh, drawing units. Drawing units. I don't know if you remember that, but I think this one is more convenient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is how I will do it. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. 